Bonjour, bonjour, the imperfect part three with quirky, irregular ER verbs. As we know, the perfect tense is used for actions that are completed, perfected. The perfect tense we use, avoir and être plus the past participle. The imperfect is used for actions that aren't necessarily finished or when the end point isn't defined, it's usually irrelevant. The action isn't necessarily completed. It's imperfect. It doesn't matter when it started. It doesn't matter when it finished. Let's be zen. Let's be hippie. The imperfect often sets the scene, giving the background information. There are usually different actions running parallel to each other. It's the descriptive tense. Je regardais la télé quand tu m'as appelé. I was watching the TV when you called me. You can have two imperfect actions running alongside each other. Je regardais la télé quand tu appelais ton frère. I was watching the TV when you were calling your brother. The imperfect, just like the perfect, is one of the past tenses. In French, the imperfect is made up of two parts. We have the subject plus the verb stem. We take the new stem of the present indicative plus the endings AIS, AIS, AIT, IONS, IZ, AIENT. In English, this is where the problem lies, the imperfect can be formed in several ways. We have the wasing and the whirring, the spinning top. For example, I was going, you were going. J'allais, tu allais, vous alliez. You also have the used to and the would in the past. When I were a lad, I used to. When I were a lad, I would. This is our little lad here. Okay, so that's the imperfect also in English. The equivalent in French would be the imperfect with your imperfect endings. They used to or they would go there when their mother wasn't there. Ils ou elles y allaient quand leur mère n'y était pas. Also, in English, when we have the simple past, using habitual or continuous or repeated actions, we will use the imperfect in French. They always went together. If you can replace it with they used to, bing, 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 you need the imperfect in French. Il ou elle y allait toujours ensemble. Also, if you say et si, et si, meaning how about, you're making a suggestion, what if, et si, plus the imperfect. And if? What if he went today instead of tomorrow? Et si il y allait aujourd'hui au lieu de demain? Okay, we drop the word there in English, but you have to put e in in French. Au lieu de, instead of, in place of. In English, we have in lieu of, which comes from the French, au lieu de, in the place of. Here, we will look at those ER verbs with teeny tiny quirks because ER verbs are really our good friends. They follow the same pattern most of the time. The only truly irregular ER verb is aller. Our first quirky verbs are the GER verbs, like manger. In the present indicative tense, we're going to conjugate it. Je mange, tu manges, il, elle, on mange, nous mangeons. Here is the quirk. It's the only quirk. We have to keep the E after the G to soften the G sound. Otherwise, it would sound like mangon. The rest is normal ER action. Vous mangez, il, elle, mange. So, for the imperfect tense, we need the new stem, meaning you chop the ending off, you chop the ONS off. And that leaves you the correct stem for the imperfect tense. Then you need to add your endings on. So, I was eating, I ate on several occasions, I used to eat, je mangeais, tu mangeais, 
ils, elles ont mangé. They all sound the same. Nous mangeons. The E is gone now because the I also softens the G. So we don't need that E now. Vous mangez. Same here. Now it comes back. Il, elle mangeait. Remember the first three and the last one sound the same despite the different spellings. Just to remind you the present perfect tense. J'ai mangé. Tu as mangé. Il, elle, on a mangé. Nous avons mangé. Vous avez mangé. Il, elles ont mangé. Let's look at some common GER verbs. So you know manger, to eat. Remember changer, to change. Plonger, to dive, to dive in. Encourager à, of course, to encourage. Mélanger, to mix, to mix up. Voyager, to travel. Dégager, dégager means to clear, as in to clear off or clear something away. If somebody says to you, dégage! They're not being very nice. They're telling you to clear off. Partager. To share. We're going to divide it up into parts. Partager. Are you partaking? Your turn. To eat. Manger. To change. Changer. To dive. To dive in. Plonger. Think of a plunger. To encourage. Encourager à, to mix, to mix up, mélanger, to travel, voyager, to clear, to clear off, to clear away, dégage, dégager, to share, use the parts, partager. How about if we change the appointment. Et si nous changions le rendez-vous? Et si on changeait le rendez-vous? There's an expression in French. The English equivalent is to tie oneself in knots. The French say to mix up one's pedals. Se, pronominal, se mélanger les pédales. He would often tie himself up in knots. He would often mix up his pedals. Il se mélangeait souvent les pédales. I was travelling the whole world. The entire world. Je voyageais le monde entier. I shared an apartment with my sister who used to go to the local high school. Je partageais un appartement avec ma sœur qui allait au lycée du quartier. Other verbs ending in GER. We have nagé to swim. Déménager. Okay, the ménage is the household. This is about moving your household to move house. Déménager. Bouger. Think of boogie, 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 to move physically. Charger. Yes, it means to charge, like to charge your phone, but it's often mean to say charge, like charge up the car, load up the car. Télécharger. To download. Ranger. Means to tidy, to tidy up. Va ranger ta chambre. Go tidy your room. Arranger. We have our flowers to arrange here. We're going to arrange the flowers. We're going to sort them out. It also is used a lot to say to fix, to suit, to be convenient. Ça t'arrange? Is it convenient for you? Ça ne m'arrange pas. It's not convenient for me. It doesn't suit me. Déranger. Deranged. It actually means to disturb, to bother. So we have do not disturb on hotel rooms. 
The French sign says, Prière de ne pas déranger. Pray, don't disturb me. À vous, to swim, nager, to move house, déménager, to move physically, bouger, to load, load up, upload, charge up, charger, to download, télécharger, to tidy up, Ranger, to arrange, sort out, fix, suit, be convenient. Arranger, to disturb, to bother, to derange, déranger. He was moving out when I saw him. Il déménageait quand je l'ai vu. I worried because she wasn't moving. Je m'inquiétais parce qu'elle ne bougeait pas. So here I've used the imperfect for I worried because there's no clear beginning, no clear end. If you want to be more specific, you could use the present perfect. It's a pronominal verb, s'inquiéter, so you have to have être as your auxiliary. Je me suis inquiété. It didn't bother me. If you're implying it didn't used to bother me, we need the imperfect. Ça ne me dérangeait pas. Ça ne me dérangeait pas. Ça ne me, ça ne me. You might drop the ne. Ça me dérangeait pas. It suited the majority of people. They would say the most part. Ça arrangeait la plupart des gens. Here we have our second group of quirky verbs. These are the C-E-R verbs. Par exemple, commencer. Let's conjugate it in the present indicative. Je commence. Tu commences. Il, elle, on commence. Nous commençons. That's the only quirk. The quirk is the C has a cedilla to soften the C sound. Otherwise, it would be comment quand. The rest are back to normal. Vous commencez. Il, elle, commence. In the imperfect tense, it's important, the cedilla, because that's our stem. It's the new stem. We need the cedilla. I used to start. I was starting. I started on several habitual occasions. Je commençais. Tu commençais. Ils, elles, ont commencé. Nous commencions. No cedilla. We don't need it. Because the letter I also softens the C. The same for vous commenciez. Ils, elles, commençaient. First three and the last one sound the same. And just for the hell of it, present perfect, it's a normal one. It takes avoir as its auxiliary. J'ai commencé, tu as commencé, il, elle, on a commencé, nous avons commencé, vous avez commencé, ils, elles ont commencé. Let's look at some. We know commencer, to start, to commence. Foncer. Foncer is really energetic. To go for it, charge, head for fast, hurtle, headlong, rush. Allez, fonce! Go for it, fonce! Lancer. To launch, to throw, to start up, like start up a business. Avancer. Yes, to advance. The French say this to their children. They say, advance, stop walking in my feet. Avance. To advance, move forward, progress. Annoncer. Of course, to announce. Also, we would say to predict. It's used a lot with the weather. Ils annoncent du beau temps. They're announcing they're predicting good weather. Agacé. Remember the tennis player, Andre Agassi? Well, imagine him annoying you with his tennis racket, tapping you on the head. Agassi, to annoy. Menacé. Threaten. Placé. Oh yeah, baby, it means to place. Remplacer. 
to replace. We have a substitution. A vous, to start, commence, commencer. To go for it, charge, head fall fast, hurtle, headlong, rush. Foncez. Like over-enthusiastic parents on sports day, allez, fonce. To throw, launch, start up. Lancer. To advance, move forward, progress. Avancer. To announce, predict. Annoncer. To annoy with your tennis racket. Agacer. Threaten. Menacer, like Dennis the Menace. To place. Placer. To replace. Remplacer. I thought using to, you didn't start before 9am. The French would tend to say, I believed. This also has to be in the imperfect. Je croyais que tu ne commençais pas avant 9h du matin. He was throwing it to me. Your it is feminine. Il me l'a lancé. À moi. An extra à moi for emphasis. Very common in spoken French. They were predicting good weather. Il ou elle annonçait du beau temps. Julien would place it near the window. Your it now is masculine. Julien le plaçait près de la fenêtre. OK. New set of quirky verbs. Here is where your E turns to an E grave. In the present indicative, our verb here is acheter to buy. In the present indicative, j'achète, you can see the little graph now. Tu achètes, il, elle, on achète. Not the new one, vous, though. They like to go back to the spelling of the infinitive. Nous achetons, vous achetez, ils, elles achètent. We need the new stem for the imperfect, so there's going to be no accent. J'achetais, tu achetais, il, elle, on achetait. Nous achetions, vous achetiez, il, elles achetaient. Present perfect still uses avoir. J'ai acheté, tu as acheté, il, elle, on a acheté. Nous avons acheté, vous avez acheté, il, elles ont acheté. Okay, similar verbs. We've got acheté, to buy, peser, to weigh. Levé. To lift, to raise. The love lifts us up. L'amour nous lève. Enlevé. Okay. Literally, to lift off. We say it to take off, like to take off clothing, to remove. In the news, you might hear that someone has been abducted. Mené. It means to lead. And there's an expression in French, mener quelqu'un par le bout du nez. To lead somebody by the end of the nose. It means to have them under your thumb, in your power. Amener. Okay. To take someone, to give a lift to someone, and then you're going to drop them off. So we've got a taxi with a big A in, because taxis drop you off. Okay, the big A means you're dropping them off. Amener, not to be confused with emmener. Emmener, now you're taking someone, but you're keeping them with you in your back pocket, which is why I've got M on your bottom. Emmener, take me with you, emmène-moi. Promener, to walk, like to walk an animal. A vous, to buy. Acheter, to weigh, peser, to lift, to raise, where we belong. Lever, to take off, remove, abduct. 
enlever, to lead. Money, we're going to lead the men, money. To take someone, give a lift, drop them off with a big ah. Ah, money. To take someone away along with you in your back pocket. Ah, money, ah, money, ah, money, ah, money, ah, money. To walk like an animal. Poor money. I thought you were buying them using two. I believed. Je croyais que tu les achetais, toi. So we've added on toi for extra emphasis because that is what happens a lot in spoken French. He would never take off his woolly hat. A beanie, a woolly or a winter hat in French is un bonnet, which is very funny because it conjures up pictures of a little bonnet. Un bonnet, winter hat, woolly hat. Il n'enlevait jamais son bonnet. She would take me everywhere, as in with her in a back pocket. Elle m'emmenait partout. So the avec elle, you could say it, why not? Bit of extra emphasis. But the avec elle is in the EM little beginning there, the prefix. I used to weigh 60 kilos at the age of 15. Je pesais 60 kilos à l'âge de 15 ans. Our next group will be changing the E with an acute accent with an E to the grave accent. In the present indicative, régler, to settle, or sort out, to deal with. Present tense. Je règle. Tu règles. Il, elle, on règle. Nous réglons. The accent has gone back to the acute one, just like the infinitive, because that's what nous and vous like to do. Vous réglez. Back to the grave. Il, elle, règle. Okay, you've got vous réglez. Il, elle, règle. Règle, règle. In perfect tense, we need the new stem. So we're going to have the little Acute accent. Je réglais, tu réglais, ils, elles ont réglé, nous réglions, vous régliez, ils, elles réglaient. Present perfect has avoir as its auxiliary. J'ai réglé, tu as réglé, ils, elles ont réglé, nous avons réglé, vous avez réglé, ils, elles ont réglé. So, let's look at some other ones. Préféré. Tu préfères. Espérer. To hope. We have despair, don't we? Despair. But we don't say espère for hope, but the French do. Ils ont désespéré. No hope. Espérer. To hope. Considérer comme. To consider, to regard as. Répéter. To repeat. To rehearse. Régler. Like régler l'addition. To deal with, to sort out, to settle, like settle the bill. Uh, resolve. Gérer. To manage, as in to manage a company or to handle a situation. Exagérer. Of course, to exaggerate, to go too far. It's used a lot like that in French. N'exagère pas. Your turn to prefer. Préférer. To hope. Espérer. To consider, regard as. Considérer comme. To repeat, to rehearse. Répéter. To deal with, sort out, settle, resolve. Régler. To manage, like to manage a company, to handle. Gérer. To exaggerate, go too far. Exagérer. Monique always used to settle the bill. Mm. 
Monique réglait toujours l'addition. She was managing a big company at the time. They would say at the epoch. Elle gérait une grande entreprise à l'époque. They were hoping you would come using two. Be careful here because this would here is not the I would in the past, I used to. This is a I would if I could. You would if you could. They were hoping you would. It's a Connie conditional. Il, elles espéraient que tu viendrais. So with Connie conditional, I would if I could. We have our would here. It is formed with the infinitive. There are no stems here. You need the whole verb. And then exactly the same endings as the imperfect. Here, of course, venir has to be a bit irregular. So with RE verbs, you drop the, the final E. But also, they've just slipped in a little I there. Hoped you would come. Que tu viendrais? I wasn't exaggerating. Je n'exagérais pas. Okay, these ones, quirky ones, double the consonant, like appeler. Appeler means to call. Appeler, you can see me there talking on my fancy apple phone, has two P's and one L, just like apple. Except that in the present indicative, suddenly we double the L Except for nous and vous. J'appelle, tu appelles, il, elle, on appelle. Note the one L. Nous appelons, vous appelez, il, elles appellent. And we need the new stem, meaning one L, for our imperfect. J'appelais, tu appelais, il, elle, on appelait. Nous appelions, vous appeliez, il, elles appelaient. It's an avoir, auxiliary verb for the present perfect. J'ai appelé, tu as appelé, ils, elles, on a appelé, nous avons appelé, vous avez appelé, ils, elles ont appelé. Okay, here are some others, there are not many. So, appeler, to call, rappeler, to call back, to call again. As a pronominal verb, se rappeler means to recall, as in to remember. I recall, je me rappelle. Jeter. Throw that jettison because it means to throw away. Jeter. Renouveler. Okay, you've got the word new in there to renew. A vous. To call. Appeler. To call back. To call again. Rappeler, and then to remember to recall, se rappeler, it's pronominal. To throw away, the jettison. Jeter, to renew. Renouveler. I was calling to cancel my appointment. They would say to annul. So here we have a to, that means in order to, which is pour. J'appelais pour annuler mon rendez-vous. I couldn't remember them anymore. I couldn't recall them anymore. Je ne me rappelais plus de. He was taking a quick look. To take a quick look in French is to throw a little eye. Jeter un coup d'œil. Jeter un coup d'œil. Il jetait un coup d'œil. We were renewing our lease. The word for lease is bail. Masculine, un bail. Nous renouvelions notre bail. On renouvelait notre bail. Okay, we've got our quirky Y-E of verbs like envoyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Envoyer to send in the present indicative. 
J'en vois, look, the Y has changed to an I. Tu en vois, il, elle, on, on voit. Nous en voyons, the Y has come back because no one vous, so square. Vous en voyez, il, elles en voient. So we need the stem of nous. It's going to have a Y in it for the imperfect. J'en voyais, tu en voyais, il, elle, on, on voyait. Nous en voyons, vous en voyez, il, elles en voyaient. And, of course, the present perfect, still with avoir, j'ai envoyé, tu as envoyé, il a envoyé, nous avons envoyé, vous avez envoyé, il, elles ont envoyé. The only little exception here is if your verb is an A-Y-E-R verb. Because the A-Y-E-R verbs, the a -E verbs, like payer, like to have two different conjugations because they say... We will change our Y to an I, but we reserve the right to keep the Y too. So you can actually conjugate them with the Y. Only for A Y E R verbs. Not the O Y E R verbs and not the U Y E R verbs. Just so you know. Okay, envoyer. To send. Renvoyer. Of course, to send back. It also means to sack. Payer. To pay, essayer de. Here we've got a try to write an essay and a try with your rugby ball. Essayer. Nettoyer. Got to clean those nets. Essuyer. To wipe. Employer. To employ, à vous, to send, envoyer, to send back, or to sack, renvoyer, to pay, payer, to try, try to write the essay, essayer de, to clean, clean those nets, nettoyer, to wipe, essuyer, to employ, bit of comedy French, just add the ER on, <laughs> employer. Okay, using vous. And what if you send him a text or an SMS? Et si vous lui envoyez un texto ou et si vous lui envoyez un SMS? I was trying to help you, addressing vous. J'essayais de vous aider, using to. I thought you were cleaning the bathroom. Je croyais que tu nettoyais la salle de bain, toi. He was wiping the sweat from his face. We're thinking sweaty Betty because both words are feminine for sweat. La sueur. La perspiration. La sueur. Sweaty Betty, sweaty Sue. <laughs> La sueur. Il essuyait la sueur, la perspiration de son visage. Et bravo les amis. Nous avons fini.